So far I found a rivet and some buttons and pocket knife pieces and music reeds and nothing too fancy but just had a nice 75 here and looks like a coin. Looks like a cent. Let's see what it is. Okay, it's a wheat cent. We can see that. Let's see if we can get a date off of it. Put on my pants here. Looks like it's a 1940D. We'll take that and keep going. See what else we can find. Well, looks like we got us a little porcelain button here. Yep. Neat little four hole porcelain button. That's pretty cool. Nice eyeball find right there. Heck yeah. Those are always neat to find. Been a while since I found one. We'll keep on chugging along and see what else we can find to show you. Alright. Maybe some silver here. Oh, it's quarter sized, ain't it? Yeah, it's quarter. Oh, oh, it's got an edge. Oh, man. Oh, I think it's a freaking barber quarter. Heck yeah. Oh, it is a barber quarter. Awesome. Huh. 1906. Awesome. Barber quarter. Yep. Heck yeah. I knew this mud hole had to be hiding something. Yeah. It's an oh no way, it's an it's an O mint mark, New Orleans mint mark. See the O? Yeah. New Orleans. New Orleans is where yeah. that was made. There's not very many of them. No. Huh. That's a New Orleans mint mark. That one I found over there was nineteen hundred. Heck yeah. Congratulations. Well, thank you, buddy. We'll keep looking and see what else we can find. Well, got us another porcelain button. Heck yeah. We'll keep looking. See what else we can find. Well, unfortunately, my buddy just had to leave, but I got a signal here. It sounded like aluminum, which it still could be, but I don't know. It almost looks like silver. It's got some decorative on it, like part of a buckle, maybe. Come on, water. Let's see here. It's actually got a little bit of weight to it. That could be part of a silver buckle. Let me uh, clean it up a little more. Let me pause this, and once I get it cleaned up a little better, I'll uh, get back on here. Well, I can see a little bit of brass coming through on a couple spots, like right there on the corner. So I guess it's just a really nice silver wash or plating, I guess. But definitely looks like it would have been part of a buckle or picture frame or something that's pretty neat we'll keep going for a little while and see if I can find anything else neat to show y'all it's been a great day so far well my buddy's on his way back so I'm gonna keep digging just dug up a pretty little gas valve I'll get it all cleaned up for the wrap-up but we find quite a few of those out here from these old homes and those are always a a neat little add to the collection I love those things so we'll uh, keep a scanning out here and see what else we can find just pulled a nice little D buckle out nice little brass one we'll keep looking see what else we can find well looks like a pretty little cuff link with a flower on it you can see the back where it mounted on a little bent up but that's my first one so that's pretty darn neat I'll take it we'll keep a looking see what else we can find 
I was saying how there had to be a seated out here, and sure enough, buddy just dug an 1875 seated dime. How cool is that? We'll keep a looking, see what else we can find. Well, looks like I got myself a little World War One eagle button, cuff button. Try to get that cleaned up more. I believe that's what it is. Keep a look and see what else we can find. All right, we're out here doing a little bottle digging today. Got something sticking out here. Don't know if it's gonna be whole or broke, but we'll find out. Um, screw top, whatever it is. But I'm not real sure. It's an interesting. It's got a guy on the bottom of it. Oh, I know what this would have been. I see those guys on Adventure Archaeology digging these. It's got looks like a devil on the bottom. That's Pluto. So that would have been a Pluto water. So that's the first one of those I've ever dug. Not a super old one, but. It's got a pretty color and should clean up nice, so we'll keep it going and see what else we can find. Well, looks like we got us a little little blue jar coming out right here. Yep, and it's whole. Screw top says what's that say? Vix. So that's a Vix paper rub. Nothing too fancy, but always love saving the blue stuff, so. We'll keep going, see what else we can uncover. Alright, we got this little cork top here. Completely slick though. No cork top though. Hmm. Well, finally, after all the busted ones, just pulled the cork top Purex out. Still got the little oh, rubber stopper in it. It's the first one of those I've gotten out of here complete. It's a small one, it's not one of the big ones, but it's pretty darn neat. Well, uh, also I found a, uh, a little blue and white marble. Bullet casing, big old bullet casing. Neat little ball lid. Two little tiny vials. And a big old long pocket knife. neat things out today. I'll uh, see if I can pull one or two more neat things out to show you. We'll call it a day. Looks like we got a mason jar insert. And we got a complete cork top ink again. Pulled more cork tops and screw top inks out here than anything. Definitely what that is though. And then I doubt this plate's gonna be whole, but we can see. Busted. 
Let's see. KT and K China. Kind of neat. We'll keep it going. See if we can find anything else for the end of the day. All right, everybody. Well, here's the totality of my finds for the weekend, both metal detecting and bottle digging. We'll start with the metal detecting stuff. I had some uh, little bits of lead and brass up there. Got two horseshoe halves, part off an old, like a single tree or double tree, some sort of big brass thing. Uh, got a gas valve, some valve stem pieces, half a pocket knife, Got a rivet and a buckle and a bullet, accordion reed. Dug this little, either some sort of buckle or picture frame part that it's not silver, it's uh, it's brass with, with silver wash plating. Uh, some spoon pieces, key, harmonica reeds, uh, makeup compact. Uh, found this interesting bullet. Definitely would have been some sort of muzzle loading round, I guess. They never cut all the sprues off the side and whatnot. So I'm guessing it got dropped before it was ever used. Uh, found a bunch of overall buttons, a couple porcelain buttons, a little two hole button, uh, another overall button. Found this little cuff link that's got a flower on it. It's hard to see, but uh, that's what it is. Did get my first little little World War One eagle button, cuff button. That was exciting to get out of the ground. Uh, found some different, you know, broken glass out there, broken stoppers, some cork tops, and little pieces. You know, I said like tonic and just some neat little pieces. I say found this little piece. It's it's kind of hard to see, but it's about the deepest purple piece of glass I've ever found. Uh, two best things from detecting was a 1940D wheat scent. And the best thing of the day was my 1906 New Orleans Mint Barber Quarter. That's my first silver quarter, my first barber and my first O mint mark all in one. I was absolutely thrilled to find that. Thought it was gonna be the winner of the day until my buddy found that seated dime, 1875. That was all yesterday's stuff, and then today I decided to dig around in my little dump and had a pretty darn good day that I cannot complain about. Couple blue, this was a little, uh, Vicks Vapor Rub, and that was probably like a big milk of magnesia. I found I finally found me a cork top Purex that still had the rubber cork in it, and I actually did find a, a broken Purex that had a, a stopper in it as well. I found this uh, Mrs. Stewart's Bluing cork top, a uh, French's mustard, patent, February 23rd, 1915. Found this little two ounce bottle, cork top. Couple inks, it's like three ounces. Seems like I can't hardly dig in there without finding some inks. This one has developed a a flash crack in it since I pulled it out. I uh, found this awesome little little Pluto water bottle. Got the little devil looking dude right there. First one of those I found. Of course you always I pull a bunch of these out of there but today I actually found a nice little little ball. You know it says to open insert knife below rubber. You know, ain't nobody nowadays gonna tell you to use a knife to open something. They'd be worried about getting sued. Found two little vials. One was a cork top, one was a screw top. Don't know if those were some sort of little 
opium or pills or who knows what. Uh, found a porcelain doll leg. Found this interesting casing that's got some sort of double lip on the back. Would have been a rim fire. It's not a center fire. Not sure what kind it is though. If anyone knows, I would love to know. I haven't found one like that. Uh, two head stamps, a broken accordion reed. Did find this nice little blue and white marble. Uh, some sort of little caster brass piece. And then probably my favorite brass find was was this neat old pocket knife. It's uh, credited up a little from the blades, of course, but that's probably the neatest pocket knife I've found. So uh, that's it for now, and I hope that uh, everybody had a Merry Christmas, and I hope everyone has a happy and safe New Year, and this might be the last video I get out until next year, so if that's the case, I hope everyone stays safe, and I'll see you then.